So hello all my loyal fans. I'm sure there's a couple of you out there at least. <laughs> I wish. Today we're taking a look at this 1700 scale battleship Mikasa from Hasegawa. It's a nice looking ship. This is a, a pre-war ship back in the before World War II. I mean before World War One I, I mean. And you see here 1902. This took part in a battle against the China Sea, I think. So we'll take a look at these instruction sheet first. This is printed lengthwise, which is kind of uh, not great for making a video of it. You can see here we have a parts map. There's tin sprues and all. You see here with the beginning. Looks like we have a water line plate. And then here's uh, the sides here with some, some connecting parts in the middle. Then we're going to put the deck on it with a couple of these. Uh, I'm not really sure what they are. They're like vents that stick out. So there's ventilation underneath, uh, below decks. Then we got to go to the other side where the rest of the instructions are. So number three, uh, second the secondary battery, putting them in there. Number four is the port deck. It says port deck. Yeah, it's not always right, but you see here, there's quite a few parts that go around here for this deck here. Number five, rapid fire guns, goes onto the deck that we just built. There's four of them. Six for putting the deck on. And there's a couple other little parts that go on top there, uh, like go inside the deck part. Number seven, we have uh, the funnels. Number eight is somewhere else down here. They kind of got it all crazy. Well, it's not uh, like straight in line the the numbers. So number eight, we put the funnels on and these uh, ventilation things in. Number nine, we're back up here. We are building some of the parts to the bridge. Number 10, we have uh, building the bridge here and the rear one too. Number 11, we have the, the cutter and the launcher installation. Number 12, we're doing the boats on the other side. So number 13, we're doing the main batteries here. Anchors. We have also these guns, secondary armament, some more armament here on the sides. 14, we're building the masts. 15, we're installing the masts as well as these pieces here and the um, the port and the aft flags, staffs. There's quite a few instructions here for the, the masts. Number 16, we have more boats to put on. And then we put the, uh, the finished deck onto the hull. We also have here nameplate is in Japanese it looks like as long as as well as the base. And here we have the bottom the assembly of the bottom of the ship putting the whole sides together. We have these pieces in the middle for stability. And we have the propellers and these I don't really know what they are. They're like like, like fins or something that go on there. <laughs> and a rudder too. So it's pretty straightforward building. And here on this side we have our painting instructions. There's two different versions. We have the March 1902 at completion as well as late 1902 to January 1904 here. It looks like the masks were a different color, but really I don't see much other difference, at least in the colors of the paint. 
but you don't really see here what the colors are supposed to be. So here's our decal sheet for the ship. You can see, well, here's the nameplate twice, all the flags, and a couple little smaller details and custom stripes here. It's not much, but they look good for what they are. And the colors look really good, I think. So we'll start here with tree A, or sprue A. You can see we have some stacks here. We have one of the hold sides here. And this piece that goes on the deck. And you see there's quite a bit of good detail here on this, the whole side. The parts look good. They're crisp and clean. Here we have tree B. This is the other side of the hull. Also another stack. This is a part under the rear bridge. Or in parts of the bridge and stuff here. So here we have tree C. See we, we have a lot of these ventilations things. Also the masts. I think the masts look really good. <laughs> so here we have tree D. We have the deck. And there's only a couple other little parts here uh, for the the deck and stuff. The planking is not right, but with the scale and with the size of this ship, it's not really a surprise. You can probably use a hot knife or something like that, or even just a knife and, and cut little spaces into it so it looks more right. Do a little sanding. I think it looks good though, still. So here we have tree E. This is only the waterline plate. Not much to see there. Here we have our tree F. There's two of them. This has a lot of our boats on it. Or probably all of them. Also some, some of the smaller details. The connection, the holders for the boats and the wheel. More of the ventilation. Now here we have tree G. Um, there's also two of them. This is most of our armament. Here's the, the turret, the guns for the turret, anchors, I think, uh, crane, small cranes for the boats too, here. So here's tree J. This is the last, the last sprue. Um, here we have our hull halves. Here's the pieces that go inside the hull. This is for the base. And these parts that go underneath on the sides and propellers. Here's our propeller shafts and rudder. Here, and the last thing in this kit, we have the base and the nameplate. The base is made of wood, which is kind of cool. And here is a metal nameplate. Also on the decals was a nameplate, so but they're not exactly the same. I love the script in Japanese, it looks so cool. I think Asian, Asian, Asian writing looks cool. I wish I knew how to read it. So I think this kit looks really good. It's a pretty small ship. I have a couple other ones like that, like the uh, um, the Russian Aurora, and also um, have a 
the HMS Aurora, I think. And they're, they're all smaller ships. I wanted like a, I wanted an early battleship from America too, but I haven't been able to find one yet, really. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And in my next video, we'll be taking a look at this uh, Wespa self-propelled howitzer from Tamaya in 135 scale. So until then, bye.